possibly going to get me. Everything gets you into a lot of a lot of trouble. Some of these topics. So, the Duke of Hamlin posted. My friend two months back found out a girl he was giving the wine and dine to. Your classic, two three dates and when at dinner and dining. Who was giving the wine and dine to was seeing three other guys and dividing her time amongst them. He took it as well as you think a guy would who thinks he's exclusively talking to a with a female and winning her over. As well as you think a guy would who thinks he's exclusively talking with a female and winning her over. Gentlemen, in the beginning, always assume she's seeing other men. She will not tell you she's up seeing other men. She will not give you any indicator she's up seeing other men. She will never be too busy to see you. She will never have anything else scheduled. She will always be available to you, but she is still seeing other men. Unless she brings up the exclusivity talk with you and you go for it, like you take the hook, she's not exclusive with you. She's seeing other men. I don't care if you can't, can't rationalize it, you can't process it. I don't want you to dwell on it as, you know, nuclear Cordelio will say, don't dwell on it, but you need to be aware of it. And yes, it's all women all the time. Your mother was seeing three or four guys when she met your dad. I'm sorry. This is the way it is. It's just the way it is. And you need to know that she's already seeing other men when she meets up with you. That's just the deal. And girls are smart. They don't just like meet you and then cut everybody else off. That's just not how it works because they have to, just like gambling, they have to make a smart decision. But guys get rocked by this very thing all the time. Again, when a girl says she's single, she's not single in the sense that men are single. Men men say they're single and they truly like haven't went out with anybody in two years. But a girl says she's single, it simply means she's having sex with two or three guys in a month and she's seeing one of them pretty regular, but there's nothing serious. And it's not really, none of them are what she would say boyfriend material, but they're interesting and fun. And she goes out with them and, and sleeps with them. That's being single to a woman, but she uses that word because she knows to men, it throws them off. They're like, Oh, Oh, she's single. She's not seeing anyone. I can see her. You know, that's the deal. And it doesn't mean you shouldn't see her. It just simply means single or dating or he's just a friend or I work with him. Um, what else? We used to go out. Um, he's he's my friend's ex-boyfriend. All these things mean I'm fucking this guy or I have fucked this guy or I will fuck this guy. Women won't bring up men that she has no interest in. It just doesn't happen because she knows you'll key off that. Every time she brings up another man in your presence, there's a chance that you'll go off in a different direction, even under the most innocent, innocent pretenses. That's why really smart girls, until they've been around a long time, they don't mention even their dad or an uncle or their brother. Any man, because some guys are more, way more sensitive about this stuff than others. Because uh, you're, you're like, what? You know, is is that really a thing? Absolutely. You know, I'd say it's probably about 80, 20, 20 percent. They're like, uh, 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 you know, they don't even notice. And then 80 percent like are super sensitive to as soon as like another guy's name comes up, they key off of that. But again, they still won't key off that she's sleeping with them as well, because Women will use covert communication like, oh, yeah, he's a guy that um, I used to go out with or uh, he's a friend of mine and or, you know, he's my sister's ex-boyfriend. So just know if he comes up or we used to work together, all these things mean somebody that she has sex with or had sex with or will have sex with. But again, 
this guy, it's his own fault to a certain extent. You don't know what you don't know. And a lot of men, especially take that one turn of phrase that says, um, she's not yours, it's just your turn. Man, they take that bad. And simply means is like in this, this window of time, she's having sex with you. If you move that window back before she met you, she was having sex with other people. And after your period with her is done, she'll be having sex with other men again. And sometimes these kind of overlap in the, in the beginning and at the end. And that means it's, she's not just yours. She's it's just your turn. And it's not derogatory. It's to help men realize exactly what this is. So they're not caught and embarrassed and put on their heels. And you can, this relationship between him and the original girl is still the same. Just now he's upset. It didn't change their dynamic. They still weren't exclusive in the beginning or, or it right here. But men think that it should just be him. And they do this by default. And that's, that's okay because she isn't going to give any indications um, that she's seeing other people. It's kind of like once you're on the other side, once you run a, n a number of girls and you're not an exclusive guy, you're not. Um, what we'd say boyfriend material. You're just a fun guy that they can meet up with once a week and have fun and have sex with. Um, once they have a guy that they realize is probably better for commitment, they'll say, hey, this is the last time we can do this. And you're going to know about the other guy, but the other guys will never know about you. And that's just part of being a guy that just gets it. You're going to be aware of other men in her life, uh, men that are more blue-pilled, a little bit more leaning into commitment, a little bit more traditional, um, especially if your role is to be the fun guy, you know, and you're running a rotation. They understand that you're a guy that just gets it. So they're going to give you a little bit more insight into how women work. And my job is to also give you insight into how women work so you're not caught off guard and you can make the best decisions for yourself and for the girl in front of you. So again, as well as you think a guy who would, would who thinks he's exclusively talk, talking, that's another phrase women use for having sex, with a female and winning her over. Gentlemen, in the beginning, always assume she's seeing other men. You don't call her out on it. You don't need to bring it up. Just assume so. And if she's not, or if she kind of cuts them off over time when she finds you more interesting, more power to her. So that's the real deal. And she is seeing other men until she brings up the exclusivity talk with you. And if she's not bringing up the exclusivity talk, you have a fuck buddy. You have a friend with benefits. And that is a, a role that everyone needs to have filled at some point um, in their life. Let's see.